let's go ahead and drive over to the AFC East because this conference here or this division is, is kind of stacked. And, you know, I thought I had a clear cut winner in this division and I realized that that's not necessarily the case. So initially, I'm like AFC East. I'm going with the Dolphins to win this division. The Miami Dolphins have complete control over this division. They were top three in sacks last year. They led the league in total offensive yards. They led the league in total passing yards last year. So this offense was already rolling. And then not to mention their defense is pretty damn dynamic as well. So you got to consider that too when you're talking about the Miami Dolphins. Now, the thing that concerns me with the Dolphins is the playoff time. When it comes to cold weather, they are just not good. I genuinely believe, genuinely believe we could have been looking at a completely different game with the Miami Dolphins and the Kansas City Chiefs if it wasn't negative 30 degrees outside. Because the Dolphins have the talent. They got the guys who can make explosive plays. And they got the dynamic offense. They got great pass rushers on defense, great safeties. They got a great team overall so i think they're leading this division but the only thing now is like it's not going to be as easy because you got the new york jets over there and they're healthy now so you got to consider them as well which i'll touch on in a second but above all i think the dolphins still have control over this division here as long as they can avoid cold weather games in the future and losing these cold weather games then they'll be all right, but they got to get home field advantage come playoff time. That's the only way they're going to see that success because if they go out to the cold weather, I think this the statistic that's already out there that the Dolphins are like 0-13, 0-14 in cold weather games. So they have to get home field advantage coming up in the playoffs whenever that's, you know, that's far down the line, of course, but they, they got to win some ball games so they can secure home field advantage. But above all, the biggest competition here in the AFC East for the Dolphins, is going to be the New York Jets. And the Jets got a solid team. They're a solid team all around. We really didn't get to see the Jets have a fair shot last year because, obviously, we know Aaron Rodgers went down with the Achilles issue and the Achilles injury. That was tragic. So that just pretty much ruined the entire Jets season. But as bad as they were last season, they were still ranked number three defensively in yards allowed last year. So they brought back a lot of those guys that they had on the team last year. Still got Sauce, still got um, the, the linemen that they have. Add, actually, I think they added another piece on that line as well for the defense. So, you know, they got their quarterback healthy. And above all, you got Aaron Rodgers there with all of those weapons on the offensive end. You are bound to cause some sort of damage. So it's going to be difficult for the Dolphins to try and get this division and, and secure it up again. But whew, the Jets, they got some pieces. Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, Jordan Travis as a backup quarterback. They damn sure, they making sure that if there's something happened to Aaron Rodgers, they not going through what they went through last season. <laughs> so I love it. I love it. But above all, this is going to be the division right here. There is another team that I'm kind of cutting out the picture, and somebody's going to point this out. Somebody's going to be slightly upset about it. I just know it because Bills Mafia is a little crazy. Bills Mafia is kind of wild, but Bills Mafia has not done anything over the past few years. And, you know, I, I get Josh Allen is there. I get the hype around Josh Allen. But at the end of the day, come playoffs, they just cannot secure it. They cannot get anything done. So I, I don't have much confidence in the Bills. And they lost a lot of pieces this year as well when you think about the team that they had compared to last year. So I... I don't believe they'll really get it done. And then matching them up against the competition that's now in that division, I don't see the Bills thriving over anybody. The Dolphins are elite. They were an elite team last year. Um, the Jets, they were supposed to be elite, but however, and we know they had some injuries that went down. But, you know, it, uh, it, can, it can still go either way. They got some young talent. Keon Coleman is there, who's going to be an exciting receiver to watch. Obviously, Josh Allen is going to have to feed him the ball uh, because no more Stephon Diggs. And, you know, they got to score the ball above all. That's the only way anything is going to happen in terms of, you know, what they can do this season. But I think this division of the AFC East is going to be nice. Um, but I'm still going with the Miami Dolphins to go ahead and wrap this division up, even though the Buffalo Bills did secure last year. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked. We'll see. We'll see.